there you have it, people. That there is snow. Hold on, when I pass these lights, I'm gonna turn my brights on. Windshield wipers all frozen. Yeah, no. Probably should have went ahead and pulled over at that rest area. Pretty sure when the sun come out tomorrow, be a lot easier to traverse. You know, I'm on the 15 North in Utah, about 80 miles away from the 70, and I gotta take the 70. So I think I'm gonna shut it down because if it's snowing like this on the 15 right here, the 70 is just all mountains. <laughs> the 70 is just all mountains. You change the elevation, you know what I'm saying? And when you change the elevation, guess what? More snow. Um, yeah, I got my defrost on on my windshield. I don't have it turned all the way up though. But uh, yeah, this is what you wait for these cars to pass by. Uh, as long as the snow is blowing left to right or right to left, then it doesn't really bother me too much. You can't even see the sign, sign covered over snow. Turn the brakes on real quick. I'm doing about 45 right now. I could be going a little bit faster, but I'm choosing not to. Um, but when the snow is going left to right, I'm fine. But when the snow is coming directly at me, like it's starting to do, I get vertical real bad. Not bad enough to be like, oh, you can't drive the truck. But I get it bad enough to where it's like, uh, I have to constantly move my eyes around. Like I have to focus on the lines on the ground, look over to the right, look at the grass. You know, I had to find different things for my eyes to focus on because if I don't, I will fo try to focus on each and every particle of snow. And as you can see, <laughs> that is not the business. And that's why I get vertigo. You know, I don't get it bad enough to where, you know, want to throw up or nothing like that, but, uh, I can definitely get it like I, I can tell you know I know me so once I get to the point to where uh, it starts to make me get a little bit dizzy then I just pull over somewhere you know and uh, wait it out but this right here I can somewhat deal with because I have other things to focus on like I can focus on the post to the left post to the right I can focus on the uh, and I'm sliding. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. And I'm sliding. <laughs> Let's back that 45 down to about 40. When you slide, people don't hit the brakes. I don't see why I'm sliding. It ain't really st stuck to the road. You know, but I could definitely feel a difference in the... Uh, We're going to go ahead and downshift one. So I'm in eighth gear now. Um, I can definitely feel the difference in the steering wheel. And that was weird because I shouldn't be sliding when the, the snow is technically not sticking to the road. You know? But I felt the wiggle and I, I could feel it in the steering wheel when I try to correct it. I was getting resistance, more resistance than usual. I'll try to uh, correct that. All right, we're gonna go back to ninth. Uh-oh, there we go. We're gonna go back to ninth gear. So basically what I'm about to do, people, is I'm about to shut it down. I know, right? Some people are gonna be like, man, that ain't even no real snow. It is for me. You know what I'm saying? Coming from Cali, you know, this is not something that I'm used to driving in. Uh, I picked up the low early because I didn't know the weather conditions. And uh, the wind is picking up pretty bad out here. Pretty bad. 
So I'm gonna turn the brakes on one more time. Let's... Ooh! Yeah. So once I get to my next rest area, something like that, I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna speed up to about 50. And I think I ain't gonna go no faster than 50. I'm gonna just bounce it back and forth between 45 and 50. Uh, you don't want to hit the brakes too much. You don't want your Jake brake on. Definitely don't want to have cruise on, of course. But, um, you know, this is just one of those things. Being a driver, this is what you're going to run into, especially if you're being dispatched. This, again, is a perfect reason why if you can, after you do your time, if you can get with a company where you can pick your own loads, I wouldn't even be up here. You know what I mean? I would not be up here. I'll be down there in Texas dealing with some rain or something. You know, instead of dealing with this snow. Uh, lucky for me, depending, I don't know how bad it's gonna get, but I got my provisions, you know what I'm saying? I got my, <coughs> my cup of noodles, my bread, my lunch meats, my fancy lunch meats. I got the fancy lunch meats right now. Um, Got my noodles, got plenty of water in here. Um, got my smartphone with unlimited data, so I got entertainment. Why did he flash his lights? I'm not sure why he flashes lights, but um, this close to me. But yeah, I'm back down about 45. Uh, but you know, this is not even the worst of it. You know what I'm saying? This is the start of what's to come. And uh, this is not the business. It is not the business. So for the new drivers out there, just take your time. Uh, this load don't deliver till Monday. I'm only maybe, I got to deliver this load up in, in uh, Grand Junction, Colorado. So I can just imagine what it's gonna be like up that way. But, like me, I like to drive at night. And when you get in snowy weather, night driving is not the business. You get in snowy weather, you wanna drive during the day so the sun can kinda of melt some of this away. You got the snow plows that's out to get you taken care of. You know, they probably salted the road. Um, that way it'll be a lot easier for traction and different things like that. Um, and no matter what company you with, you know, if you tell them, hey, it's snowing, I can't make it, or snowing, you're going to have to reschedule because if it's snowing like this on the 15, like I said, I got to hit the 70. And I can just imagine what the 70 is going to be like. You know, if it's snowing like this already. I can just imagine what the 70 is going to be like. You just got to reschedule that stuff, you know? All right, we ain't got no cars, so look. Are we going to just turn the brakes on for just a little bit? Let y'all see some of that stuff that I see. You know? All right, turn them off because I'm... <laughs> I can feel the vertigo kicking in. Um, but yeah, you you know, honestly, in, in, in snow like this, you can still, you know, do about... I, you know what, me personally, I'm not gonna do it. But people that's used to driving in snow, or got snow tires on and different things like that, you know, you can still do your 60 or whatever because you're used to driving in it. But like I said, I'm not. So I'm 45 right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is when I do shut down, I'm going to check the weather and uh, see what the weather's like in some of the major cities that I'm gonna hit on my way to uh, Grand Junction, Colorado. And uh, that way I can properly plan. You know, just an FYI too, you wanna uh, have some shades, all right? Make sure you have you some nice shades because when you do start to hit that, uh, where the snow is stuck to the ground, the, refre the reflection from the sun is really bright off of snow. 
So you want to have you some decent shades, some UVs and all that stuff. Uh, polarized and all that. That way the, you know, it won't mess with your eyes as much. You know. See, I don't know if that person was just flashing their lights at me or what. So basically, if I get, you know, one or two more people flashing their lights, uh, that's going to kind of put me on a on a higher alert than I, than I than I'm already am. Uh, because if they're flashing their lights, it's letting me know that there's probably an accident up there. Um, and uh, definitely want to watch out for that. And uh, looks like we got a car over here. I wonder if they just slid off the road or something. They got their four ways on. Uh, let's see what happened. Nah, they just on the side of the road. Okay. Um. So yeah, I mean, you know, I got my chains, but I'm not trying to chain up. I'm not trying to chain up, so. I'm too far away to be like, you know what? Let me just chain up and get through it. I'm too far away for that. Um, you know, if I was an hour away or something, then yeah, but I'm probably about four hours away. And depending on what's going on, I might have to... Uh, just shut it down. But since the load doesn't, doesn't deliver till Monday and it's only Saturday, should be pretty good. Should be good to go. I know people like Trucker Josh. You know, the, Cana the Canadian uh, heartthrob. <laughs> the Canadian heartthrob. Uh, he probably used to drive. He probably like, man, that ain't nothing. You get a little bit of snow and you get all scared and want to pull over and shut down. Yes, I, you're absolutely right. And I'm mad enough to say, a little bit of snow will make me pull over and want to shut down. You know, it's not even the little bit of snow. It's the feeling that I'm getting when I'm holding the steering wheel. You know, if, if I wasn't correcting as much as I am and, and getting the resistance that I am when I am correcting, then, uh, and what I mean by resistance, is not even resistance. It's like I'm holding the wheel straight and the wheel would just kind of veer left just a little bit or veer right you know and it's that that right there is what scares me because if, if it's doing that with this little bit of snow I guess I can speed up because like the snow coming down a little bit but just by doing that is uh is enough for me to be like ah nope got it gotta shut it down gotta shut it down you know I'm gonna get over a little bit because we got uh cars and it look like a big truck rolling you know, but that big truck might be used to driving in this flurry. You know? And he getting it. While I'm over here with big big chunks falling off my falling off my windshield. <laughs> I would have liked to got up to Beaver, Utah and then shut down. That's usually my in-between spot. Where I usually shut down for the for the nights. But I am heading up this way. But uh, I haven't even passed Cedar City yet. And, uh, or, wait, where is Cedar City? I don't know what city I'm coming up on. Am I coming up on Beaver? Yeah, if I'm coming up on Beaver, that is the business. But I doubt it. I would normally pull out my little uh, travel guide. No, I'm coming up on Cedar City right now. Okay. I'm coming up on Cedar City. Right outside of Cedar City is... Uh, and it kind of looked like it's coming down, so I'm going go ahead and speed up a little bit. Because it looked like it's coming down. You know, it's not coming down as much, so since, it, it, since the ground is still warm enough, it's not sticking to the ground, so I guess I can, I can go ahead and uh, get back in it just a little bit, not too much. I just need to be aware, you know, that, you know, the ground could start to get slushy, you know? 
ground can definitely start to get slushy. And if I start to get too much wiggle, I'm just back it back down. I think there's a Loves or a Flying J outside of Cedar City where I'm gonna shut down and uh, call it a night. Call it a night. I mean, if you can see my windshield over on the passenger side, <laughs> I think I might got that vent covered up with a bag of tater chips. Big old bag of delicious tater chips. It got all kind of little thick chunk of ice on it. You know, but you can't like look at the signs all covered up. I'm gonna see if we can get that on camera. Nope. Well, you get it a little bit. You can get it a little bit. But yeah, we're coming on in the Cedar City. We got a lot of loads that come up here to Cedar City. Cedar City got a place called Smead. And they got a place called um, Pack Something. And uh, Smead is the paper place. And that Pack Guard or something like that. I want to say it's called Pack Guard or something like that. It's um, delivers like the uh, has uh, the the paper products. So all the to go containers for like El Pollo Loco and all the a variety of different uh, uh, restaurants. That's what we would pick up out of there time to time. Alright, I think it's okay to turn the Jake on because we're about to ride down a nice long, nice long hill. I don't want to speed up too much. Yeah, this should be good to go. This should be good to go. I think I can go ahead and get back in it. Anyway, it's TRB with a look nighttime, light snow driving. You know, just want to show y'all what I see want to show y'all what I see. I think the people that was uh, turning on their brights were trying to see what it looks like with their brights on. And when they turn their brights on, if you turn your brights on when you got heavy snowfall, <laughs> you will turn them off real quick. Because you go 